Yo, what is going on, God Gamers? It's your boy Dan, man, back at it again with some more Mario Maker 2. Big news has hit the scene. So back in the day, there was this level in like the original Mario Maker that was based off of Super Meat Boy. It was essentially, for a lot of people, it was like the course to get them started on like slightly more advanced uh, mechanics in Mario Maker 1. Well, word just got out that there is a sequel to this iconic level in Mario Maker 2, and that's what we're gonna be playing for you guys today. Boom, boys. There it is. Super Meat Bros forever. Less than 1% clear rate. I'm a little bit concerned about this one, to be real with you guys. Now, guys, I'm a little bit nervous. I've been playing a lot more challenging levels in Mario Maker 2 as compared to Mario Maker 1, but I don't know. Obviously, I'm really concerned. 55,000 people played this level and only 276 people have beat it. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Oh my gosh, man. I'm honestly so scared. I'm really, really nervous about this one. Oh, it's fast. Okay, we gotta run. We gotta run, boys. Okay. <laughs> this is definitely like that one part where like you're running away from the robot. Prepare to what? Oh, prepare to run. Oh, I see. Oh, snap. Oh, okay. I understand. Okay. Okay. All right, man. Okay. I have a bit of an idea of what's going on. This is like, it says prepare to die. Nah, man. I'm Dan the man. I don't ever die to anything. I've been working on college work all day. I'm hella tired, but I felt, I just, I felt obligated to at least give it a shot and see if I can make any progress in here. Do I have to like jump in between those or can I do a little like spin like doobity do? Let's see. I'm looking at all these comments that people are putting up. I'm stuck on the Vietnam flashback, and I can't quite get past it. I'm not... I just... I don't... I think I have, like, a bit of an idea of what to do. Maybe I just have to take it a little bit slower. I've been so used to playing these speedrun levels recently, man. Like, the speedrun levels that are, like, the coin blocks and stuff. Or, like, the, the, the switch blocks, man. I've been really playing those a lot, so I'm used to just having to just run and gun and platform your way through without stopping at all. But it looks like on this one, that's not really the case. I'm gonna have to maybe slow down a little bit on it or just kind of be you know a god gamer what did i just do now full disclaimer i could be a thousand percent wrong on this nintendo you're being you're, you're being like an ex-girlfriend man okay you're not you're not communicating with me entirely you're hiding something something's on your mind you tell me that it's fine, but I know it's not really fine, but you won't let me have that kind of a mindset because you think that I should listen to exactly what you say. Aha! Oh, my dad beats me. Did you see that? Did you see? Oh my God. Girl, I knew you weren't fine. I knew that if I was just persistent and asking you what was wrong, you would just open up to me. And now you just kicked me out of my own apartment. Jeez. I hope my neighbors aren't like low-key listening to me through the window. Sometimes I think about how crazy I must sound sitting in this room talking to myself. Nobody knows what I'm doing. They just hear me talking to nobody. Yeah, see, that's not too bad. That's a pretty tight jump though, I knew. Oh my gosh, I didn't get the jump on it. No. No! Dude, if I would have gotten the jump on that, I would have been able to get the second one. No. <laughs> How could this happen to me? I gave you my life. I don't know the words. I think I'm ahead a little bit, though. Slightly. Nope, still didn't. Still, still, still didn't get the wall jump. Oh my god, I got it. Checkpoint? Oh my god, I got a checkpoint. Dog, this is great. I feel the timing's a little off on that. The timing is a wee bit off. Where you might actually have to do a little bit of waiting around on this guy. As to not hit anything. Oh my gosh, I can- dude. I just need to like, be able to stall in the air for just a little bit longer. And then I can wait for that saw to go down. That's all it really is going to take to get past the section. Whether it ends up working or not, man, it's all about just adapting, okay? You got to be able to adapt, change. Each attempt, you learn something new. You learn something new every attempt. Like that. That's what I needed. 
Oh, what the heck? Whoa, 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 what, 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 what? Excuse me, homie? This is starting to make me think that my entire, like, early part of this section is not how it's supposed to be. I think I'm just too tired to really be frustrated right now. It's an incredible thing. I'm just, I'm too tired to be frustrated. Like, it's hard because, like, my immediate thought is that, like, oh, bro, just send it, right? You know? Unless this is what I'm supposed to do. I think I just figured it out, dog. <gasps> I think I just figured it out. You just have to send it. You can't wait on it. You have to send it. Bro, that makes a million times more sense if that's what you're actually supposed to do to get through this level, dog. Like, dog, look at this. Look at this, dog. It makes sense. Aha! It makes sense. Oh my god, I don't understand what to do there, though. I think, is that the end right there? I don't think you're supposed to wall jump off of any of those last walls whatsoever. I don't think that's what you're supposed to do at all, really. Because obviously, like, when you wall jump, you you gain height. But there's those buzz saws just all over the place. Oh no, I think I was a little late on the execution there. I could feel it. I felt it in the little first section where I was slugging behind a little bit. It's actually, if you get the move, oh, on that that first jump, if you get the movement down properly, it actually does make a lot of sense. I mean, I can definitely see why, you know, a level like this is is renowned. I can definitely see it. Dang it, I jumped too early. You know, like I think it's it's just challenging enough, right? It's just challenging enough. It doesn't call for any crazy you know, Kaizo tricks or anything like that, which I think is dope. You know, it's it's really just all about how well you can platform and how well you can handle the pressure of obviously having this be an auto-scroller. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a pace to keep up and you can't really, like, you just, you have to platform. If you miss anything, there's no time to go back and readjust anything. What I will say is that, oh dang it, how did I just fly up there? That's crazy. It seems like I just fly into the saw. It's because you can't even, you can't even really like grip onto that wall because you're doing the, uh, the buffer in order to retain your height. But if you're on that wall, what happens is that you just spin off of it. Like, it's not like, it's not a surprise to you at most parts, right? Like you can tell, oh, I'm coming off of, uh, I'm coming off of that jump a little too high. Or, you know, that that saw, I was too slow and now the saw is off cycle, so I'm gonna run into a saw. Like, after a while, you really do get a good understanding of what you're, of like, mainly your deaths is the best way I would describe it. So like, I don't know exactly why that happens. So that's the one thing I can't quite figure out, is how I just launch up seemingly. Oh, I'm barely gonna make that one. That was really, really close actually. Dang, bro. I wonder if maybe the strat is to actually like hit the wall and then maybe I can come off the wall from a wall jump. I'm not too sure if I can like hug a wall for a brief period of time and then just like come off of it without. It seems like it like maybe I can't I obviously don't have enough time or height to check it here, but it seems like it might be possible. The crazy thing is, man, is that there's from what I can see at the moment, like at least at the time that I'm recording this. I don't think that there's anybody who's actually, like, played and beaten the level. Oh! I bonked my head but still managed to get through there. See, that's- uh, you see the issue that I'm following with here? That's- that's- I'm, I'm in a weird spot. With that jump. Where I can't seem to get over there. I'm not sure if there's any, like, specific tech that I need to know to make that jump. But if I do, I don't know the tech. I'm looking at the replies on Twitter, man, hoping somebody's put up a full run just so I can see how to get past that singular part. No dice on Twitter, boys. I cannot find a completed run online. If I didn't be here before long, I'm probably gonna, like, go to bed and then come back to it in the morning. I wish I could just practice that one jump. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download the level 
I'm going to download the level and see if I can, like, pinpoint that jump. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, that's so sad. Yo, what's up, guys? It's future boy Dan here. Uh, it's the morning time. I unfortunately don't have any time to continue to play this level. I have a flight to Hawaii tomorrow morning. So I have just a bunch of stuff that I have to get done here. Do go ahead and, like... Keep an eye on my Twitter at Dan the Man TV. Link in description. If I do manage to beat it, just kind of like while I'm waiting around at the airport, I will tweet the video out, and then you guys will know that I beat it there.